Well, today's episode is all about Mavericks, and Candy Cooper is certainly a rebel. You are <laughs> always making really interesting things out of surprising materials, and today is no different. So what are we starting with? We are starting with the scary tin that you might see at the thrift store. <laughs> we were talking about this earlier, because once you cut it up, it doesn't look so scary. You know, some of these are old and, you know, are Or some of them have rust on them. Banged up or, or whatever. Part of them look good or you only have the lid or you only have the bottom. That's right. So now we're not baking cookies for these tins. You're strapping on the gloves because we're going to cut some metal. We're gonna cut some metal. Yeah, I think this is a great, it's, we're recycling. How great is that? Anytime you get a chance to do that, it's a good well, I day. I also think it's about seeing the beauty in something that at first you might not be excited about. So what are you doing now? Sorry, I just started doing this while you're talking. <laughs> <laughs> no, so um, I'm just using straight aviation snips. You want these come in right cutting, left cutting, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You want the straight cutting snips so Are that they you can. the aviation snips because you actually use them on airplanes. Don't get technical, Julie. Just enjoy the <laughs> enjoy the process. I love how your brain goes. Well, I just haven't, I've never heard that before. No, yeah. So that's what those are. Um, and, but it chomps through these this rolled edge really easily, and then you have your tin. It's not going to be pretty, but. You know, and but you want to definitely. getting towards the pattern part that is the usable printed metal. Right, and you want to wear those gloves because these things are sharp. And like, throw your trash into a box. Don't just put it in a bag. You'll be glad. <laughs> so now we're gonna switch over to these like little dies mm -hmm. where they have a little cutter right in the um, beneath the foam. And then you're gonna put your piece. With the printed side down against the die. I'm putting my piece because I find it kind of forms the metal when it goes through the tool. Ooh, glitter. Yeah. And we're so just, why does that plate have glitter on it? Is it a special plate? You know why I think it has glitter on it? So you can see it when it's laying on your trashed work surface. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say, because those clear plates are hard to see. That's actually really smart. They're fun. So I didn't talk much about this sandwich, but I put this little piece of cardstock on top of the cutting pad just to kind of shim it um, when it goes through. But you can see, check this out. I got my perfect piece right here. Done. Isn't that great? That's so cool. And now, are you gonna shim it only because you're using with a cookie tin? Um, yes, because I think just that little extra pressure helps to make things work. I would never have thought that that piece came from that cookie tin. That's amazing. I know, and I brought along some other shapes. I mean, you can make these really small, really big, but the one tip... Is that tip, a nail file block that they use at the... This is a relieving block, really? Oh, sorry. Me. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so now, to build these earrings, we're going to build... That's our base layer. Now okay. let's add a little flare with some embossed metal. If you look here, you can see I've done some bigger pieces. They come in... All these little metal blanks come in different sizes. I'm gonna grab this leaf because it kind of echoes what we just cut. So, but on the, um, you're gonna switch platforms on your cutting machine or your embossing machine as it's gonna be now. And we're gonna actually- Wait, that's an emboss, I've always seen embossing folders that are plastic, but that looks like it's metal. Yes, these are specially made for metal pieces. So this is actually a metal plate. You're gonna select yeah. the area of the pattern that you like close the flap and then this definitely you want to put it so it's going fold side in and then I have to peek at my instructions down on the pad so we, we need or on the shuttle we need another cutting pad then our sandwich okay. then our piece and then you push it in until it doesn't go anymore and then we're just gonna hold down and this is hard because we're embossing metal you're literally say, the train can you emboss paper with those same embossing folders or yes. it's only metal yes you can but then when we pop this thing open, <gasps> how great does that look? That is so cool. And I love that this has so many patterns inside so oh that my you gosh. definitely could choose. What a, section? Yeah. Yeah, and they make a ton of those. So Can you do more than one leaf at a time? I don't. Everybody always wants to know that. Slow down. I know, Enjoy we're the all process. like, rush, rush, rush. <laughs> I want to do it as quickly as possible. But with um, all that texture, you know this, like let's highlight it a little bit. Um, we're gonna use some multi-purpose paints, paint a layer on, let it dry. So painting on metal, and I noticed you didn't like prime it or do anything like that, you're just throwing it on there. Yeah, I'm just throwing it on. I've got some ready, the magic here. Let me scoot this <laughs> over here. The magic happens. And then we're gonna grab this one that I've already done. It looks totally antique now. Yeah, back to our relieving block. 
Look at and that. So what's happening is the raised part of the embossing, you're sanding the paint off of it, and so that paint is just sitting down in the crevices, which is really now showing the pattern off a lot. Exactly right. So I went ahead and um, cut some pieces here, but basically the idea now is we need to grab our hole punch tool, and then sometimes when you emboss pieces, you, um, the little ring on the finding gets a little um, kind of, well, rolled. So we might have to open that back up. And then also, you'll need to punch a hole in your piece. So I'm just using this metal hole punch tool. Smush it down. Be really careful when you shimmy that off. But now, I can um, hang Layer this. Layer the two pieces yes. together. Yes. I love that you went to the extra step of adding that second layer instead of just leaving it alone. It really makes it more special. Thanks, let me grab my tools. So, um, I wanna show you a couple other tricks when it comes to layering. I thought you might have fun. So we can leave this just you know as is and just hang these charms. Like if you've never made jewelry, how great is that, that you can just like. Boom, you're done. I mean, you, you just made a pair of earrings in like four minutes. Yeah. But if you look at the gold ones, um, those have a little bit of riveting done to them. So now, do you wanna see how to rivet? Sure. Do we have a couple yeah, seconds Yeah, we haven't here? got a second to do it. I'm always up for another technique. <laughs> okay. So then we're gonna punch our holes. Oops, sorry, I'm shooting metal at you. And then you kinda wanna line up your pieces. This is really easy. These are called compression rivets. And this is what I actually did to the brass pair right there. But then you're gonna thread your um, compression rivet pieces on through. And just like sticking them, it's almost like a brad or something, except you're just putting on the back end now. Yeah, and then you put your mushroom cap on, lay it on a block, hammer it down with your chasing hammer. And you're done. And it's set. And if we look at some of these finished pieces, it's totally amazing to think that they came from cookie tins. You are a maverick, I love it. Thanks, the other yummy. <laughs> Thanks so much. Thank you, Julie. That was fun.